I have here a box. It's a very exciting box that I've been waiting on for a very, very long time. So I did not even open the mailed package yet because I wanted to do this. So let's do it now. What could be in the box? is Jazz's Ultimate Creativity Collection. Now, there's a lot of boxes within the box. And it's actually kind of hefty, kind of heavy. So, I am super excited for this. I've been waiting on it for a while. And so glad I finally made it here today. I've been waiting on it all day to open it just so that I could do this. So what might be in this giant box of boxes? Well, this is the Ultimate Creativity Collection. So this is all three of the current art boxes that Jazza has put together. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with Jazza, highly, highly recommend checking him out. I'll even link his YouTube in uh, the description just because he's awesome. He's just been a huge inspiration to me as an artist and the stuff he does. I love watching him. I love um, discovering other artists through him and just everything he does. So I'm very excited about this to see what we got. So there's three different boxes here. So the first one is the Jazza's Incredible Inky Box. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's see what's in it first. Cool. Jazza on the back with ink. <laughs> I won't go too much into the whole creation of this box set because it's his thing. He's got it all over his page. I just want to see all the stuff that's in it that I now get to play with. So bubble wrap. Yeah, I can play with bubble wrap. That's great. It's not quite. I'm gonna angle you guys down a bit. See if you can see better. Whoops. Well, maybe not that much. <laughs> So, got a guidebook that will tell us how to use all of the stuff in the box. This lovely cappuccino notebook, which has um, just off tinted paper, so it'll be that cappuccino color there, um, which is great for just inking, just black inks and probably color inks too. I actually haven't done a whole lot with inking, so I'm super excited to try this and everything in here. Here's just another notebook presumably for practicing things like calligraphy or, you know, all sorts of other things. You can never have enough notebooks. Here we have, what is this? This is, I don't actually know what this is. So I'll find out and I will use it. Don't know, but it's this thing. Probably somebody knows what it is. I can't really see that. I don't really know what it is, but like I said, I will find out. There are some brushes, some chisel tip pens, or actually flat tip, chisel nib, yeah, so chisel tip pens, calligraphy pens, trying to get close so you can see it without that crazy bright light. Ooh, this is exciting. These are, I use these for resin, as do many people. These are Pearl X pigments, so these are shiny, shiny pigments that make beautiful colors. They can also be added to inks to make colored inks, so like here's a gold, you can kind of see there. And there's all sorts of great colors in there. This is a nice big set of them, all these colors here. So this should be great. All right, getting down to some inks, let's just go ahead and open it up. So we have Aqua Ink, this is a nice blue. These colors are showing up all right on there. Here's a nice bright red. And a nice yellow. So some inks to get me started on inking, which like I said, I haven't done a lot of. So I was, I think I ordered this just before October. 
and I was thinking about it all through doing the Inktober prompts, like what could I do with the stuff that I'm going to get in the Jazzer box, and then of course I had to wait a couple months more. <laughs> but it's finally here! So we also have some alcohol inks. Um, I believe these can be used as pigments as well, but alcohol inks behave a little bit differently than regular inks, so I'll be exploring all of that and seeing how these different things work. Some basic colors here, it looks like purple, green, mm, orange, and rainbow. Hmm, interesting. We'll see. And then the real specialty in this box is this Jazza Custom ah, calligraphy pen, glass calligraphy pen. Let's see if I can get it out of here carefully. It's pretty well stuck in there. So this, specially made just for the Jazza art boxes, is a really beautiful glass calligraphy pen. Comes with a little bit of ink, as well as all sorts of different nibs. I have never in my life done anything with calligraphy pens, so this will be totally, completely brand new for me. I'm excited to try it. Alright. Oh, and if you didn't see, there's a jazz of face there. <laughs> Okay, so I don't even know that I can fit all of this back into this box in a reasonable time. That was packed full of stuff. I'm trying to fit it all in here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Here we go. I think I got it all. Alright, so that's the first one. That's just one of these boxes that I've been waiting on. Set it. As you can see, I have very limited space in my little art station here, so I don't even know where I'm going to put these, but we'll work it out. So the next one, oh, this is kind of heavy. This is Jazza's Sculpture Box. Super Sculpture, Sculpture Box, that is. Let me try that again. Super Sculpture Box. There we go. All right. So this one, you should see lots of sculpting materials. So, once again, guidebook tells you how to use everything in the box. <laughs> there is another custom, Jazza custom, uh, sculptor's tool pouch to put all of the different tools that he has included into here. And it does have a Jazza face, because of course it has a Jazza face. There are some brushes in here. Here's a little ball tool. I haven't done a whole lot of sculpting in a long time, so there are probably specific names for these things that I don't remember. But they are various sculpting tools, that's what I will call them. So here's a few more. Let's see if we can. There we go. A few more sculpting, various different heads in there to scrape away sculpting tools. These are like rubber. They're like paint brushes, but they are rubber tipped. So that's cool. They're probably also for molding nice soft clay. Armature wire, always good. Need that, of course. And then the things you're going to use in this set, we have, what's this, monster clay and cause clay. <laughs> They're both a little different. They are made by the same company, I believe, but they're a little bit different in how they work. I believe the cause clay is the one that actually has a sort of bounce back, even after it's dried and solid, cured, whatever you want to call it. It, it has a little bit of like a rubbery uh, flesh-like texture, I believe. I haven't used either of these. So again, something new I get to explore. I'm excited. There's more little clay tool of some sort. It looks like a brush. Maybe a texture tool. Here. What is? It's a pouch. Something. So another... Hmm, ah, another tool kit. Another silica pack. So another tool kit with lots of different things for sculpting, of course. Ah, 
rolling pin, always good. Sculpey tools, so various different cutting tools there. And then lots of Sculpey. So Sculpey is great. I do use Sculpey when I use it. Um, Super Sculpey and Sculpey both. I love them. They're great. Wonderful. And then also some pastels. Um, I assume that you can color on the clay with the pastels or you can probably mix them into the clay. Again, don't know. Never done that. So something else I can explore. Most of my artwork is usually drawing and coloring with colored pencils, pens, or lately it's all been digital. So this will all be new to me. It's been a long time since I've done a lot of these types of things. And I think that is everything that comes in this sculpture box. So that's a lot, as you can see. There is a lot of stuff in these boxes. A lot of new things to play with. Alright. So I'll add this again. Okay, that's two out of three down. Alright. So then the last one is the Jazz's Mega Minis box. There we go. And it is, as you can see, the largest box in there because it is packed full of a bunch of minis. Made, once again, specifically for Jazza. Mm, sticker is a little messed up on this one. Oh, and you both probably had Jazza on the back doing the different things that the box is describing. So this one has Jazza painted minis. Yeah, out of that. There we go. Alright. Huh. The Mega Minis box. Lots of bubble wrap to play with. Guidebook. Stuff from the smart art people. Oh, this is the wet palette. This is one of the things I've been looking forward to the most in this kit, um, specifically because I already do some mini painting. You can see these dudes back here. I do a little bit of mini painting already. A wet palette is just a thing that keeps your paints wet as you're using them, and um, I think will result in a lot less wasted paint and just a lot more ease of access as I'm doing my painting. So I'm very excited for this. Super glue, of course, putting these together. <clears throat> Um, some snips to cut off any little burrs, excess pieces, as when you get minis they always have some sort of little plastic hanging off somewhere that doesn't need to be there. Wood glue as part of scene building, usually. Just a regular palette, regular small palette. Just kind of totally burned out by that light. Alright, and then an uh, exacto knife, of course. And then there's the Army Painter Jazza's Collection. So again, this is specially made just for the Jazza boxes. It actually has a mini in it with Jazza's head. So that'll be kind of fun to paint. I'm not going to go through and open all of these right now because um, they're not going to look like anything not put together anyways. Oh, sorry. This one, this one is the paints. This one is the Jazza edition. Um, who's the guys who did so? Puppets War, Puppets War is who did this. They are the ones who made the Jazz Mini, which you can kind of see it there on the front. It is showing his his face on that. Sorry, this one, let me go back to this. This is the Army Painter Paints. Got him confused, because I've watched too many of his videos already explaining what's in these boxes. Um, so this one is the paint set that are all um, specifically chosen as what he believes is kind of the best paints to start with for painting minis, the easiest to work with. Um, Milliput, always good for filling in things on, on things, on minis. <laughs> and then this one is a custom mini based off of an artwork that Jazza made during a, what was it, a character design session or something. So complete one of a kind, unique characters that will never exist anywhere else in the world. Um, this drawing that he did for it, which I actually have, I believe I have a print of in here somewhere. I may 
maybe. Maybe I do. Oh, he's got the painted version. Okay, so this, let's get it to where maybe we can see the color sort of without the glare. All right, so this is the drawing that became very, very popular through his channel that he did that was so popular that it's the one he chose for this mini's creation. And then the print that is in here is of, uh, is of those minis that he has painted and done a background for and everything. <laughs> okay. And then everything else in here, there's various different building materials for uh, making terrain, making scenes, things like that. And, of course, a cutting mat to cut on. There's also Jazza faces on these here and here. And I think that's everything in this Manny's box. So, we've got the specialty minis themselves that I'll be working on eventually. <laughs> And then we've got the army painter paints. Oh, and by the way, here's the paint colors that were chosen to go in here. Also, some brushes in there as well. Okay. All right, how, how did these even all fit in here? How did he do this? I don't know how he did this. Um, various tools, cutting tools, snipping tools glue. Trying to get it all back in here. The wet palette that I'm most excited about. Oh, and the wood glue. Okay, I think, I think that's everything. So, a lot of stuff in these boxes. You can see why I was so excited to get these. Let's see if I can even get them all put back together, because otherwise I'm going to have nowhere to store them. I have limited workspace here. <laughs> and I need them to all compact down to their original size so I can keep them together. Come on. There we go. All right. Very, very excited to start working with these. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is just not even stuff that I do much of anymore anyway. So I am hoping to gain some inspiration as I start working through these things and trying some new stuff and getting back into stuff that I haven't done in a long time. So there it is, my possibly only, but at least my first, unboxing of something really cool. And I'm pretty excited. That's, that's about all I have to say about it now. <laughs>